Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and thank you so much if you're one of the 1,400 people who have backed our Kickstarter already as I am filming this. That is a fantastic response in the first day. Um, thank you so much. The book will be made now. We've already passed a couple of the stretch goals to have uh, more puzzles and explanations of set theory, and the next stretch goal uh, will be adding a puzzle hunt to the book, and we'll be thinking up new stretch goals. Hopefully we won't reach the one million where Simon has put in a very unusual stretch goal, um, but we will fulfill it if we get there. Um, no, we'll thank you so much if you've contributed, if you've pledged to the book. We are really looking forward to bringing out Cracking the Cryptic's Greatest Hits, Volume 2, and there have been such great hits on the channel. You could fill several books. There is no doubt that lots of people's favourite puzzles won't feature because there can only be a set number of puzzles in the book, however big it gets in the end. And we have done so many brilliant puzzles every day that it just it beggars belief in a way. We're really looking forward to making our choices. Maybe there'll be some, uh, some community choices as well at some point. Um, and after yesterday's fabulous looking puzzle, we have another fabulous looking puzzle today called Shuriken, which when I read the word, I, at first I thought it was a, a pencil puzzle type, but actually I think it's a throwing star, isn't it? Uh, one of them, those extremely sharp, dangerous objects used in martial arts. Um, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's fictional, maybe it's real, but here it is depicted in a Sudoku grid, and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, what else is going on? We've still got a week left on the uh, Patreon hunt, the duality pack from Skunkworks, which is proving so popular. I literally can't believe how many people are getting through the whole pack. It's unbelievable. You are geniuses. Well done. So are they, but so are you, the solvers. Um, it puts our little efforts to shame, actually. Um, what else is going on? We've got uh, the 500k pack and the series of us solving it. Um, not quite sure if I'm going to stream again before heading off to the World Championships this weekend. Um, we might not be able to fit that in, but uh, we'll see. And then... Uh, so much going on anyway it's brilliant check out the links under the video as well as the book there's all the apps there's Sven Sudoku pad there's the discord and the patreon tons of stuff as always now this puzzle what are the rules this is from crispy 16 who i think has featured on the channel before uh correct me if i'm wrong but the rules are very simple normal sudoku rules apply that's one to nine in every row column and box Purple lines are Renban lines, as you would expect. It can, a purple line contains a set of non-repeating digits in any order. So this could be the numbers 2 through 8, for instance, if I'm counting correctly. Um, but they could be in any order. So it could go 5, 4, 7, 2, 3, 6, 8. That would work. That'll be great if that's right. Um, a grey or orange line is a palindrome, which reads the same from both ends. Why two colours? Because these are different palindromes. That one is not a continuation of this line, obviously. So grey and the orange keeps them separate. And I don't know how hard this is. Actually, I, I have a guess that this is very hard. And the, the reason I think that, and I might, might turn out to be wrong, but we're only given the four even digits once each. Now that means we have to disambiguate not only those, but all of the odd digits without a starting one. And the only sense in which the value of numbers matter in this puzzle, they don't matter on the palindromes, they could be A, B, C, B, A, that would be fine. But the value does matter a tiny bit on, on the Renban lines. But it's only a little, so I think it might be very hard to determine which odd digit is which in this. That's that's why I think this could be a hard puzzle, but check the video length. I could be totally wrong. Um, I could be wrong as I solve it. Who knows? Do give it a try, though. It's the second link under the video tonight, and I am going to start now. Let's reset the clock. Let's get cracking. So, what can we do with this? I think, 
think we're going to be coloring, aren't we? I mean, this, because of the palindromes, these are all the same digit. Let's make them red. I mean, they're on the ends of the four star-shaped bits of palindrome. And there's a two-cell palindrome, which must feature in one of those three. Oh, and I've just noticed that red cell will be in the centre of the grid, because that's the only place it can go in box five. So there can be a lot of symmetry going on. Okay, this isn't getting me very far, and nor is really... I mean, there's only a few more bits of palindrome cell to go on. Let's think about what's on these seven-cell ren bands. There's four different seven-cell ren bands. And the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will be included in them all. How do I know that? Well, there are only three sequences of numbers between 1 and 9 that involve seven numbers that are consecutive. One of those is 1 to 7. That involves 3 to 7. Another one is 2 to 8. That involves 3 to 7. And the third is 3 to 9. And that involves 3 to 7. So they're always going to be used. Oh, hang on. OK, 6 can't go on any of those cells on this one. And it must be on the line. So 6 is on one of those. And 4 is similarly on not on those cells of this line, but it must be on the line, so it's on one of those. And then we're going to get a 4 somewhere up here and a 6 somewhere down here. I suspect this symmetry is going to go on a long time. Is this... This is the only symmetry break. I suppose the, I don't know if the palindromes are. But two and eight aren't as good, not just because they're in less impressive positions. I mean, that one sees all of those cells, but no others, but also on that line, but also they don't have to be on the lines. A line could be three to nine and in, and miss out two, or it could be one to seven and miss out eight. Okay, colouring looked interesting for reds. I'm going to bother to colour the other palindrome pairs, I suppose they all are. Purple, let's go blue, no, let's go yellow there and blue there. Just, oh, ended up with blue and green next to each other, never mind. Right. What are they telling me? Um, I was wondering for a second if they're all odd. Because blue and yellow see 4 and 8. No, that's not going to work. It's not really telling me much. I mean, these are in the Fistemafel ring. I don't think that helps. Blue must be there somewhere. Gosh, I don't know. Um, so it must be about the long palindromes. What am I missing about the palindromes? I've placed a four somewhere there. Could four be red? Yes, so could six. Could four be on the palindrome? No. Okay, no, it couldn't, because that can't be a four. On, I'm talking about this little grey palindrome. Um, so four is slightly more restricted because of this. Crikey, I don't know what's going on. Um, Ah, this cell, right, this cell sees all the numbers on this palindrome, and we know they include 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Ah, okay, so this is 1, 2, 8, or 9, and each of the palindromes must have such a single cell. There it is, there it is, there it is for the other three. Right, is that useful? I mean, that restricts these to one of six digits, which is not all I was hoping for at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Got it. Right, green. I don't think green can be on this palindrome. That green sees those and that. That green sees those and that. So green also has to come from this population of digits, 1, 2, 8, 9, because it doesn't appear on this palindrome. Ah, OK, that's going to work for these. So blue can't be on... Is it this one? Yes, on this palindrome. Oh, that's fascinating. This is going to be very helpful. Yellow can't be on this one. I'm just checking every cell here because I don't want to get tripped up by some missing symmetry that I haven't even noticed. I'm pretty sure purple can't be on this one. Yeah, that's right. OK, so now the next thing to do is to check for sure whether any of blue, green, yellow and purple can be the same. I don't think they can. Blue sees green and yellow and it sees purple across the middle. Green sees purple, blue, and it sees yellow across the middle, and they must all do the same. So these are four different digits, and which one is, so they are one, two, eight, and nine in some order, that's gorgeous. And two cannot be green, purple, or yellow. Sorry, I should highlight the cells it sees first of all, that's why I know it's not green, purple, or yellow but that also means it's not the other green, purple or yellow. Therefore, the two is the blue one. Eight can't be green, blue or yellow. So eight is the purple one. Uh, we don't know about one and nine. They're, one of them is green and the other is yellow. And that's a start, um, is it? Let's see what we can do with twos. Okay, there's going to be a two in this area, just by Sudoku, and in this one. It doesn't necessarily apply at the bottom, but at the bottom there's going to be an eight in that area and an eight in that area, just by virtue of these placed eights. There's going to be an eight in one of those cells, a two in one of those cells. Um... Oh, hang on, there's no two on this palindrome now. Ah, since I placed it there, yes, that's ruled out all of these cells. So this, ooh, what about the pencil marking? Yeah, I'm going to do it. This palindrome doesn't have a two on, uh, sorry, this Renban line. Sorry if I called the purple a, re a palindrome. This Renban line doesn't have a two on, so it must be... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I am not afraid to pencil mark seven digits in a cell. Now, those ones can't be six. This can't be eight, nor can these. Now, is that going to apply? Oh, and what cell was it? This one now can't be eight or nine. That's one or two. Right, so this is one, two, or three. The even digit on those is a 2, and I can take 2 out of there. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay, what about this? This can't be a 2 either. Perfect. So it's exactly the same. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then I'm going to take 8 out of the cells that can't be 8. Oh, do I not get... That one I'm in can't be a four. That's all I've got this time. Ugh, that leaves a lot of pencil marks behind. But can I, I can do the same. It's this, no, it's this cell. Sees all of those, so it can't be eight or nine. Again, that's one or two. That's one, two or three. Neither of those is a two. In fact, that's not a four now. Fours in one of those doesn't help. Right, what about this? I'm going to say, oh, it's not two this time. It can't be eight now. So that's great. That works the other way. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of these cells can't be fours. Um, these ones and that can't be two. This sees all of those digits and can't be one or two. So that's eight or nine. This is seven, eight or nine because it must be consecutive. And that means eight is the even digit on that palindrome, that Renban. 
Right, and over here, I bet this one sees eight. Yes, every cell in it sees eight. Again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a few cells that can't be two, and this one can't be six. Uh, this sees all of those. It is eight or nine. That's seven, eight or nine. Eight is on that Renban and not in those two cells. Okay. Well, that's progress. This is something. I mean, I don't know what it is. I can't believe it's just too many digits pencil marked in for me to suddenly find a quintuple or something, I think. And it may turn out this is the most valueless pencil marking. This is why Simon hates pencil marking, because all of these digits are very hard to actually read for what, what they're worth at this point. So, I don't know, I'm not going to take them out yet. I'm just going to ignore them and, and try and crack on somehow. Now, red is on a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 line and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 line. So, it's somewhere in the overlap. It's not 1 and it's not 9. And it's not eight or nine, and it's not one or two. So it's three, four, five, six, or seven. I don't know what it is. Um, now, are there other cells that... I don't think there are. These ones are particularly positioned to see everything on a line. I suppose that's on the little grey palindrome, so... Oh, and it can't be four. We worked that out before. So one, three, five, six, or seven on that grey line. We've got... I don't know what these reds are doing. There's probably no point keeping purple and blue highlighted anymore. So let's get rid of the colours there. Um, no, I need to find something else to do now. What about twos then? We've got a two in one of those and a two there. Oh, okay, here's, yeah, my next thought. Three, four, five, six, seven needs to be on each line. Right, six on that line is in one of these three and I have pencil mark that. I can take six out of those cells and that cell because of that pencil marking. And in fact, since that can't be a six, six is now on one of those three to be on this line at all. So it can't be in that cell or these cells. Okay, well, this is gradually reducing the pencil marking. Now on this line, six can't be in those. I can't rule it out of that. It's in one of these four. Okay, now let's just do the same symmetry-wise with four which is in one of those two, so it can't be in any of these cells. Now, four also isn't there, so four on this line is in one of these three, and then it can't be in those, and then it's in one of these four, and that just takes it out of this cell, unexcitingly. Oh, I had six in those, so I could take six out of that cell too, but I didn't really get as much done as I was hoping. Right, let's look at twos. We've got those. There's one in one of those two. Now, some of these lines need to have a two on. Ah, oh, yes, these bottom lines both need a two. This one needs one in one of those cells, and this one needs one in one of those cells. And I think Yes, that means that the that, that is only going to supply two twos. Right, there are only two... Yeah, that's really interesting, actually. That is interesting because the two twos on these long seven-cell lines at the bottom of the grid are in these areas. And therefore, one of them is in this two-by-two two in box eight. And one of them is in row seven on one of those two cells. 
And I think that's the interesting one. So there's a two in one of these two, let's just get rid of those, in one of these two cells in row seven, whichever one it is, is going to push two out of those cells into these side cells. So whichever one it is, there is a two in row two Oh, and on the other line, yeah, that's only going to apply to one of those lines. So on the other line, the two is going to be in row one. And that, oh, this is, this is weird. Okay, I get this. This is helpful, I think. Well, it's a bit helpful. No, it's brilliantly helpful. This is brilliant. Right. So my argument is that one of these, because of the two twos that must appear on these long lines at the bottom, one of these cells in row seven has a two. Whichever one has a two is going to push the two on these tiny Renban lines into row two. Whichever one does that is going to push a two back into column one. Obviously not in the column where there is a column seven two, but this is like a virtual X-wing now in columns two and eight. The twos must be used up in those two cells, whichever way round they go. And therefore, and here comes the bingo moment, those cells don't contain a two. Now, if we look at my diligent pencil marking along here, neither do any of these. And therefore, in row eight, the two is now in one of these two cells on this line. It does belong on that line, so that's fine. So that means these two don't contain a two. That means this line doesn't have a two, and that's in this cell. So we know which one of these two cells does have a two. We've figured it out. My goodness, it's there. That's a two, so this one isn't. So this one is, this is exactly what we were forecasting. So this one isn't, so this one is. And the trail runs dry. No, hang on. Two, two. There must be a two. In fact, it's here. We can place two in column one right there. That tells me where six is in that box. That tells me that there's a six in the corner. I'm going to get my corners filled and I think they'll be all with even digits because I'm going to repeat this logic with eight and I think it's going to hold just as good at the top of the grid. Have I placed all the twos? Nearly. Look, I can do it now because this isn't a two because of that one, actually. I should have spotted that, but I didn't. This is a two now. And that's the last two on that palindrome. And there we go. All twos done. Now I'm going to pull the same trick with eights because I'm sure it's available. Yes, these lines both need an eight on. Here we go. Same logic again. So if you didn't understand it last time, follow along this time. And it is, it is complex. These two lines need an eight on, but those two cells can't have an eight, nor indeed the red. So there is an eight in box eight, and there is an eight in row seven to make sure that those two lines get their eights. So one of those in row seven is an eight. Whichever one it is pushes eight out to the side down here because it couldn't go in the bottom cell. And whichever one of those is an eight, pushes an eight to the bottom cell on the other side of the grid. And now in columns two and eight, that's an X wing on eights. Eights can't be anywhere that's not highlighted in column two and eight. And therefore, these two cells don't contain eight. And the eight in this row, row two, is, well, it's right there because we've got an eight there saying it can't be there, which I hadn't noticed before, but we get eight here. That is an eight. That is awesome. That eight is on the line. So we take eight out of that cell. The eight in row two now has to be here from what we said. That's an eight. Uh, that stops this being eight at the bottom. I love how this follows through. That's an eight and this one isn't. And then this one is. And can we finish off marking eights? Yes, eight in the corner four there and that's all the eights done all the twos done some sixes and fours right let's keep going if we can with fours and sixes we've got fours there oh you see i don't know if red is four or six
wonder if I'm going to be able to prove it's not. Four, oh, think about the lines. The lines need fours on. So a four there, four there or there. Oh, four there or there is just going to stick a four in the corner. I could have done that before. Ah, that takes four off these cells. So on this line, mm, it's in one of those three. On this line, it's in one of those three. So it's in one of those two cells by Sudoku in column three. And that means these two aren't fours in this row. This is what I just said. It's in one of those three lines. <sighs> one of those three cells up there. One of those two. Oh, I don't know. This kind of peters out. These can't be eights. Let's tidy up some pencil marking. There might be more that I've missed. But we're, we are getting left with a lot of odd digits only in the pencil marking wonder if we're meant to be able to finish off the evens now. I mean, it's not really as if it's a parity puzzle. It's just because they were the given digits, I think. Oh, yeah, these can't be six. Ah, so one is going to be in one of these cells. And I've seen why that matters. In this column, one has to be in one of these two cells, which are definitely odd because we've got all the evens. But if these yellows were a one, one couldn't go in both of those cells. And that's impossible. So the yellows are nines. And in fact, nine doesn't go in both those cells. One does, as we know. And that's going to work here because nine has to go in one of those cells. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, sorry. Once that's nine, the greens are ones. I could have done that the other way around up here. Did it this way round. Okay, so what's that telling us about ones and nines, if anything? Right, tells us those two aren't ones. They're from 357. That's not a one. So the one on this line is now in one of those two cells. And that means that's not a one, but other than that, Oh, one in this box is in one of those two. That's a one. That's the only place one can be in column one. How did this come about? Yes, it works over here. Nine is not in those cells. So the nine in column nine is there. And one of those two is a nine. That's the exact symmetry. God. Love the symmetry here. All oh, right, these can't be ones because we've got ones in the rows. Ooh, they are either a pair. If they're three, five, or seven, their counterpart in box nine goes there. But if they're six, it's that one. Okay, just there must be something else I can find. Is it the reds? Am I meant to be able to do the reds now? I don't know. They feel like the original throwing star squares. Um, fours in one of those two. Four. What haven't I seen about four? One of those two. Mm, I feel there's something going on. Yeah, hang on. Four is definitely in one of those three in this column. I haven't marked that. Maybe maybe that's not as exciting as I hope. No, it doesn't seem very interesting. Six is in one of those, and six is in one of those two. I don't know. Six, we've got a sort of X-wing there. Not an X-wing, we've got two potentials and they're sitting opposite three potential cells up here. Now, can this be six? Let's try that on the palindrome. With a six there and there. 
then we'll have 6 in one of those two. Oh, I don't know. I've just... 6 is in definitely in one of these three for this line. I don't... Yeah, that, I could have marked that before. I just didn't think to do so. These reds, okay, what, what other cells do they see? They see one, two, eight, and nine. Well, that, that's fine. I've got them marked as three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, is there some digit they can't be for some reason? There, there'll be one on each line. If, you know, if we can make them work, they'll work. So... I don't know. I don't know why they can't be there. Let's try six on this one again. If those are six, that's a six. We've got six there. We've got six in one of those two. One of those two, obviously there. One of those two now. Then it'll have to be in one of those two, but it couldn't be in the red. So six. Well, it could be in the red, so I just didn't mark the reds. Oh no, I see. It couldn't be in the reds if it's on this grey palindrome. Hmm. Getting bogged down. Four has to be in one of those two cells in this row. Now it's got to be about these lines, hasn't it? Okay, this I've got marked as a possible one. It can't be. Because now we've ruled one out of there. One has to be on this line in one of those two cells. Why did I notice that that meant that couldn't be a one? And I didn't notice it could meant that couldn't be a one. So the one in column two is now here. Right, that's got to work here. If that can't be... No, it's this cell that can't be nine. Because nine has to be on the line in one of those positions. There we go. So that's a nine. Now, there's a 9 in one of those two, and a 9 in one of those three. If it's there on the line, it has to be there not on the line. If it's there... Uh, actually, it could be here. And then it could even be not on the line there as... Oh, no, it couldn't, because that would rule it off the line here. Ah, oh, something's going on. I'm missing something now. Um, okay, this one, can I use it? Yes, that's not a one, so there's only one place for one in column nine. Right, similarly, nine looks over there, so nine in column one is done. Now we get a one and a nine. That's a one nine pair in the middle row. So that these are, these aren't nine. So on this line, where is nine? It's in one of those three cells. And that means at least that it's not here. Oh, it doesn't quite mean anything else. What about one? I mean, it's going to be the same story. One's in one of those two, and one of these three. And therefore, it's not here, because that would stop it being in either. It's also not twice on the line. Oh, I don't know. I was going to say it can't be here, but that's not necessarily true either. These are all odd down here. Why can't I at least finish off the even digits? They feel like they want to be finished off. Hmm. Um, nine. Nine is in one of those two, so it also isn't here. I've left that marked. I haven't left that marked as a one. Okay, good. Eight, two, nine, four. So we've got one, three, five, six, and seven. Six, though, is confined to those, so this is... I mean, both of these are definitely odd. That's one, three, five, or seven. This is three, five, seven, or nine. 
Oh, now I'm just randomly pencil marking now. Come on, let's have a think about this cell. Can't be 9, 2, 8 in the column, 4 in the box, 1 in the row. So it's 3, 5, 6 or 7 as well as that and that. Oh, I've got two there, so I must know this is eight. Yes, I do. I do, just by Sudoku. It's, I know that's not going to help as well, because the two hasn't been helping. Um, that can't be nine. Oh, so there's a nine pair up here to go with the nine pair there, and I bet there's a one pair there to go with the one pair down here. There is exactly that. Then up this middle column, 3, 5, or 7 there, 3, 5, or 7 there. So 4 and 6 are definitely in this group of cells and not in these two, which are therefore from 3, 5, and 7 again. We're seeming to get an awful lot of 3, 5, 7 pairs left, or triples, obviously. 2, 3 in that column, 3 in that column. Those are 3, 5, or 7. There's they're appearing in the middle column. Now, if that was a six, then six wouldn't be on the palindrome. And it also wouldn't be in red, so that would have to be a six. And it would be there, and it would be here and here and here and of course we've got it marked already in some cells that would be the disposition of sixes if this is a six so it probably is because that works pretty neatly let's just check that disposition again in case it's missing off any lines I don't think it is but it is worth checking um, it's not on that palindrome and it's not red. So there, 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 and there. So there's one on that, one on that, one on that, one on that. Yeah, it's on all the lines it needs to be on. But it must be something to do with these lines. That's what's going on. So whatever those two are, don't appear in these cells. It's something like this, isn't it? Um, whatever those two are, don't appear in these three. So they're going to have to be in those three. Oh, I don't know how to work the oracle this time. Oh, goodness gracious. The symmetry is almost annoying now because it just is stopping me focusing on finding anything useful. Reds, I must know what the reds are. Can they be six? That would be six. It would obviously appear okay on each line because one of the reds is on each of the big lines. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and the turn. okay, but let's just, I'm just gonna flash those purple because that's where sixes can be in one disposition. Now the alternative place in column seven for a six is here. And then sixes are going to end up here. Uh, it's not on the line again. So, and it's not red, so it's there. Now, I've got this wrong, I've got this wrong. What did I start with when I was highlighting the sixes? It's in one of those two positions. Ah, hang on, yeah, 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 yeah. It's either here, and therefore it's here, or it's here, in which case it's not red, and not on the palindrome, and then it's here. 
So six can only be in one of these two positions in box six and not red. Because it has to be in one of these two and that will clash with red in row two and that will clash with red through the palindrome here. Right, so six is not red, at least that's something. Um, and it's in one of those two. Let's say blue for six. Um, it's in one of those two. That's a strange pair. It's in that cell in because it's not red. Yes, in this row. There it is. It's in one of those three in the middle, so it's... Th no, it could be in one of those two. Okay, but it is there. That's blue. Then it's in one of those two. It's not red. And one of those two. Ah, oh, okay, I just don't know. But is there any line that's missing it? No, because it's going to be on this one in one of those. Oh, but it's not here in this cell. Mm. I've got all these reds corner marked. Well, I've got lots of them corner marked with possible sixes. Let's just remove that so it's not distracting. OK, well, that was something. It took a long time to see something very obvious there. Now, what about fours? Are they impossible to be red in a similar way? No, because that was that palindrome. And that still can be a six. Yes, that's part of this pencil marking. Okay, so four is in one of those two cells on this line. Now, can we get the same sort of thing going? If it is here, it's here. And it's not red, then it's gonna be here. It's not red. So it's going to be in one of those two, one of those two. It's obviously up there and in one of those two again. So that would make them six, four pairs. Ah, but it can't be on the palindrome because four can't be on the palindrome. So that's one disposition of fours. And that's based on it not being red down here. OK, I'm going to flash those purple now. And the other disposition of fours is if they are red and we use the ones we've already got, there's only one to fill in there. So those and the purple are the only possible places for fours. And therefore, there are some cells that aren't purple or highlighted here that I can now remove four from as a possibility. And they may only be here and here, which is very irritating because I thought I was going to achieve something there. Not so. Oh man, I'm going to have to color three fives and sevens. But where do I start and how does it carry on? Four and six are now definitely in this pair. Oh, gosh. That felt quite important because it's the only place four can go. Oh, of course, if that is three, five or seven, it's also here. I'd forgotten that. Then it's got to be in one of these two, and one of these three. Oh, look, 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 if that's three, five or seven, it can't get onto this line because it has to go in both those. And then over here in box one, it's up there and then it can't be on this top right long line. So that is a six. Wow. Oh, man, that's taken ages. Right, right. But I'm in business now, surely. Six there, six there. That's the sixes. They are all done apart from six here. Let's get rid of all the blue colouring if I can. 
well, I want to get rid of all the blue colouring because that's less interesting now. All the pence, the corner marked sixes that are just messing things up for me. Is that all of them? That maybe that is. Okay, so and there's a few grey cells that just are pointless now. There they go. Get rid of them. Now that was one of the possible positions of four, wasn't it? So four is red. There we go. Four is red. Hurrah. We're going to get all the even digits placed. That's a four. That's the last one. OK, now I can remove fours in every guise from all of these cells. And from all of those. There we go. Oh, and even from that. OK, so we can get rid of purple now as well. And red. Oh, I don't know. That's, I, don't, I don't think there's any point having anything coloured anymore. As far as that, not even these nines and ones. They're kind of dunzos. So, it's all going to be about... Now, we've got a few ones left to go. Other than that, and nines, of course, their counterparts. Other than that, it's three, five, and seven. Let's see how we get on with three, five, and seven. Um, that can't be six anymore. Why have I left that possibility? That can't be six or one. Yeah, I've got all sorts of three, five, sevens. Right, I'm coloring these. Purple, green, and orange. Let's see what happens. Purple is there. So purple is here. That's orange. Oh, bother. Those are green and purple. That must be three, five, or seven as well. So purple is there in the box. That's green and orange in some order, like those. That's purple or green, but it can't be purple because of that. So it's green. Good. That's purple. Green is in one of those two, and one of those two. Purple is in one of those two. Ah, oh, there has to be one on each line as well. Let's not forget that. Right. The green on this line has to go there. Bingo. So that's not a nine. That's where nine goes in the box. That puts nine here. Seven on the Ren band down there. That's going to be potentially very helpful because now orange is not seven. Well, a bit helpful so far. 3, 5 pair in the box. That's not 7. Now we need orange on this line. There it is. Um, this is a purple and green pair. I don't know whether 7 is purple or green yet. Orange is in one of those two. Oh, come on. What's this? These, there's more three, five, sevens here. That's not purple. I don't know. Come on. We're, we're on to this now. That can't be six. Hasn't been for ages. These are purple and orange in some order. I don't know which of those is green. Symmetry would probably tell me that that's a three, but I'm not using that at this stage. Three, five. We've got a seven in one of those two cells, so these can't have a seven. So that is a seven. And that's not. Now... 7 is, oh, I was going to say it's on the line here, but that's not proved. This is a 135 set at the bottom. Okay, keep thinking about what's on the line, Mark. Come on, we've got purple, so that's not purple. Simple enough, so that's not orange. The line is your friend. Right, purple, orange. Oh, I don't know. One of those is green. That's orange. This... These two are purple and green, and I still don't know which one is seven. Oh, I feel like I'm there, and I just need to convert. Um, keep going on the lines. We've got that one done. We've got orange, purple, and green. We've sort of... Ooh, we've nearly done this. Interestingly, purple is... Ah, purple is on the line. It's got to be here. Because that purple is saying it's not here. So this isn't orange, green, or purple. This is nine. 
and that's not. Um, nine, that gives me the one nine pair in the middle. That gives me one down here, which is on the line there and can't be on the line here. And therefore is sitting in this cell. And this is the other color, purple or green. Oh, come on, these have to be done. It's this line, orange there, green or purple here, Orange there. There's, so the other of green or purple is there. What about this line? We've done that line. Green, purple, orange. We've done this one. We've done that one. I'm not seriously left with a dilemma over which number is which. Not at this point. I must know what that is. Yeah, we've got green, purple and orange. That's a one. Oh yeah, look, there's a one there looking up. I knew that would be a three. This is a five, and suddenly we know purple is seven. So also, actually, let's just get the coloring right. That's not purple. That's not green. That's not purple. That's not green. That's not purple. That's not green. That's not green. That's not orange. I can even color a couple of threes and fives and sevens that I've missed out at the top. Have I got three in every box? Now I can just finish off, finish them off. Green is three. Orange is five. Purple is seven. That was a beast to disambiguate, but we are done. What a fabulously complicated, beautifully symmetrical, utterly brilliant Sudoku puzzle. All disambiguated by that and I just couldn't work it out for ages. Well done if you've done that much quicker than me. I'm not shocked but I'm impressed. Um, I'm certainly impressed by Crispy16 who's produced a real work of art there. Fantastic puzzle. Um, most enjoyable. And thank you very much for watching as always. Always a delight to be with you. I um, hope sometimes you just go, come on Mark, get it to the end because that's how I feel a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.